Hi guys, how are you? I hope you are doing well. So this is the last, the last uh, lecture in the semester. Uh, so it's uh, section 9.3 and in this uh, section we're gonna test uh, the probability of success uh, p in a binomial distribution. So we have a binomial distribution. So let me remind you in a binomial distribution so we have n uh, that's the number of uh, trials p so it's supposed to be a probability of success Okay, Q, that's 1 minus P, that's the probability of failure, right? And then R is supposed to be, uh, that's the number of successes. Okay, so, um, you know, as in section 9.1 and 9.2, uh, we want to see if there is a strong, uh, strong evidence that uh, the probability of success p is different from some value based on pr prior uh, information, right? So we want to, uh, we want to, uh, want to see or test if there is, uh, if uh, there is a strong evidence against. strong evidence that um, you know uh, probability of success P is different from uh, different from uh, some value uh, based on prior uh, information different from uh, some value uh, based on uh, prior information So the testing, the testing steps are the following. So they are uh, similar or uh, they are the same as in section 9.1, 9.2. So the testing, uh, uh, testing steps So uh, step one, uh, we have to state the null hypothesis H0 So again, H0 is based on the prior information. So, uh, so then your uh, probability of success or, pro or your proportion P is equal to some P0. Okay. So uh, now the second step, of course, you need to state the alternative hypothesis and it's, it depends on the problem. So we need to state alternative Uh, hypothesis H1 okay so this is uh, depends on the problem this depends on the problem of course and um, so there are three cases either your probability of success or pr proportion P uh, C P is larger than P0 Okay, so that will be uh, that will be left tail uh, test, or p uh, less than p zero. That will be right tail test, or p different from p zero. Okay, and that will be two tail test. Now, next step is to uh, compute. The test uh, statistic. So Z test assist, So the test statistic Z. It says Z sub P. So that will be equal to P hat minus P over square root of P Q over N. So that's your test statistic. And so here, uh, p hat is equal, of course, to r over n, right? Okay, and then, um, of 
course here q q here that's the probability of uh, failure that's one minus p now next step of course is to determine the p value okay and so the so to determine the p value actually there are three cases so it depends on your alternative hypothesis so uh, we have three cases so if you have p uh, larger than p0 then uh, the p value is equal to the probability that z uh, the z score is larger than uh, the test statistic z sub p if p is less than p0 okay so then the p value would be the probability that z is less than the test statistic uh, z sub p and if p is different from p0 then this p value would be equal to uh, two times probability that z is less than uh, minus the absolute value of uh, z sub p okay now next step the fifth step would be to compare p value to the level of significance alpha to alpha that's the level of uh, significance And then uh, sixth, uh, sixth step or last step is to give your, you can give your uh, own interpretation of your uh, of your answer. Okay. So um, anyway, so let's do an example here. Okay, an example. Um, example. And again, you can find more examples in the lecture notes. Um, so let's say according uh, to the FBI, okay, uh, so you know that, um, so uh, that 70% of all crime arrests are uh, of uh, males okay so that's according to the FBI now in uh, Wyoming we have a sample a random sample of uh, 32 arrests uh, showed that 24 So we have a sample of the 32 crime arrests. Uh, so the sample showed that uh, 24 out, uh, out of the 32 are males. Okay, so, or, uh, uh, so showed that 24 uh, were uh, males. Okay, so 20, 24 out of the 32 are males. Okay, uh, so the question is, is, is uh, the population uh, proportion P, probability of success P, P of uh, uh, male arrests in uh, Wyoming different from the 70% according to the FBI. Is different from the 70%. Okay. Uh, 
So, um, so this is, uh, of course, this is a, this is a binomial uh, distribution because you know when you have a crime crime arrest, so uh, either it's gonna be a male or a female, right? So you can see here there are, you know, two possible outcomes. So either uh, uh, it's a male or a female, okay? Uh, when you have a crime arrest, so it's either a male or female, right? And we know that 70% according to the FBI. So that's our prior information here. So our prior information is that uh, 70%, so that's a, according to the FBI. So we know that 70%, according to the FBI, 70% of the crime arrests are uh, male. So that's our prior information. So that's our null hypothesis. So our null hypothesis, H0, is that the probability of success that a, a crime arrest is actually a, is a male uh, is 70%. So P, proportion P, or, pro, or probability of success P is 70%. Okay. That's, so that's, uh, again, that's the proportion of male arrests, okay, 70%. Now, we want to test this uh, proportion or this probability of success against an alternative hypothesis. So the alternative hypothesis here is the following question. Is the population proportion P or the probability of success P of male arrests in Wyoming is different from the 70%? So the alternative hypothesis here is that uh, your uh, proportion, population proportion is different from 70%, okay? Um, so we want to see, we want to test uh, this uh, seventy percent. Uh, okay. Uh, so the alternative hypothesis H one here is that uh, uh, the proportion P or the probability of success P is different from uh, seventy percent. Okay. So we want to see whether this. This uh, the proportion or the probability of success of male arrests in Wyoming is different from uh, different from seventy percent. Okay, so that's our alternative hypothesis. Okay, uh, and okay, so next step is the test statistic. Okay, so the formula is the following: we said that z sub p is equal to p hat minus p over square root of p q over n. Okay. So first, what's p hat? p hat is r over n. Okay, so we have this uh, sample uh, So we have this sample of 32 arrests. So 32 arrests show that uh, actually uh, 24 out of the 32 were males, right? So uh, our the size of the sample here is uh, 32. So this is our n, okay? And we said 24 out of the 32 were males. So this is our this is the number of successes here. This is a number. This is r. That's the number of successes here. Again, a success here is that um, uh, a crime arrest is actually is of uh, uh, of, uh, of a male. Okay, that's our success here. Um, so uh, p hat would be, of course. So p hat would be so twenty four out of the thirty two are uh, are males. So that's twenty twenty four over thirty two. So that's uh, you can, uh, you know, you can uh, reduce this fraction, so you can divide by by six here and by six here. So then p hat would be actually uh, three over four. So that's three over four. That's zero point seventy five. Okay, so that's our p hat. Um, now that's p hat. So what's p? P is the seventy percent. Okay, that's our p. P is seventy percent. Uh, now Q, Q of course, so 70%, that's 0 0.7. Q is 1 minus P, right? So that's 1 minus 0 0.7, that's 0 
and n of course this n here that's the the size of the sample and again we have the sample of 32 arrests in wyoming so n is equal to 32 okay that's the size of the sample in wyoming um, so now let, let's compute this uh, test statistic P, uh, Z uh, sub P. So that would be, uh, again, P hat minus P over square root of PQ over N. So P hat, we said, is 0 0.75 minus P. That's our 70%. So that's 0 0.7 over square root of P, which is 0 0.7 times q, q is 1 minus p, so it's 1 minus 0 0.7, so it's 0 0.3, so times 0 0.3, over n, the size of the sample in Wyoming, it's actually uh, 32. Okay, so z sub p would be equal to 0 0.05, and then here we have this square root, so 0 0.7 times 0 0.3, it's actually uh, 0 0.21 okay, over uh, 32, right? So that would be equal actually to 0 0.62. Uh, sorry, this is 0 0.21 here. So sorry, I said 0 0.0, this is 0 0.21, of course, here. This is 0 point, so this is 0 0.21 over 32, okay? And then you take the square root. Okay, so then that would be actually equal to, so the final answer would be 0 0.62. Okay, now next tab, that's our test statistic. Now uh, we need to find the p-value. Okay, so here our alternative hypothesis is that p is different from 70%. Uh, okay, so when it's different, uh, that's a two-tail uh, uh, test right so then in case of two tail tests the p value would be two times so when it's different you see here p value is two times the probability that z is less than negative absolute value of z sub p so here the p value would be equal to um, so p value is equal to two times probability that z is less than negative the absolute value of the statistic uh, test z sub p okay so that's so p value is two times probability that z is less than negative and we got here so this test statistic is 0 0.62 so that's negative 0 0.62 okay so that will be equal to so now so that's two times. So this probability here, z less than negative 0 0.62. You can just, so we need to use our table number three of the z-score. The z-score, the, the standard uh, normal distribution. So that's two times, um, actually, I think 0 0.2676. Okay, so that would be equal to 0. 5, uh, 352. Okay, so now in the last step, we can compare uh, the the p value to the to the level of uh, significance. Uh, so here, level of significance is actually um, so alpha here is supposed to be equal. Um, so here's alpha. I didn't mention alpha here, I forgot alpha, but alpha here should be, so alpha, alpha here is 0 0.01, okay? So in the compare the, our p-value, so this is the fifth step, so compare our p-value to alpha, 
So uh, p-value is actually uh, 0.5352. Uh, it's of course larger than uh, 0.01, which is our level of significance. So in this case, if p-value is larger than the, the level of significance, then we do not reject H0, the null hypothesis. So in other words, we cannot say that the proportion of male arrest is different uh, from 70% in Wyoming, okay? So the interpretation is the following, is there is no, not enough evidence, or there's, we cannot say, so we cannot say proportion of male arrest of male arrests in Wyoming is different uh, is different uh, from uh, the 70 percent which is uh, the number given by the the FBI so different from the 70 percent uh, different from different from 70 percent okay um, so, um, and that will be our uh, sixth last step, that will be our interpretation of your, our answer, okay? Um, so again, guys, uh, I think in the lecture notes, you can find more examples, like uh, probably two or, uh, 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 or three more examples, okay? And again, this is actually our last lecture, and um, I wish you good luck in the, in the final. Uh, thank you. See you next time.